Welcome to Coombe Abbey. This is one of the most haunted locations in Great Britain. Creative director of the British Most Haunted project, Salim Syed, chats to psychic medium Marcus Starr about his earlier experiences of seeing ghostly apparitions at Coombe Abbey. You will be able to see some photographic evidence at the end of this film and draw your own conclusions. The Abbey was built in the 12th century as a monastery and is still haunted today by monks who roam the grounds. Coombe Abbey is a Grade 1 listed building and was home to Henry VIII. The Abbey then became royal property of Elizabeth of Bohemia and King James I, who was educated at the house in the 17th century when it became part of the infamous gunpowder plot. Now we're here at Coombe Abbey in Coventry. Could you tell us a little bit more about what to expect on the night mm. of Monday the 24th of May when we do our psychic and paranormal night? Uh, of course. Well, you know, Coombe Abbey is steeped with history, Salim, and um, it's, it's a very, very interesting um, venue. I'm expecting a lot of activity on the 24th of May. Um, as you well know, you've seen and felt things today yourself, which has been quite phenomenal. Um, particularly in the event that we've not actually gone inside the building yet. Um, I'm expecting a lot of poltergeist activity. Um, and as a demonologist, I'm going to be looking quite severely into uh, the presence of the spirits that are within this building and what they want us to do with regards to coming forward and interacting with us and interacting with the ones that come on the event. So it's going to be quite exciting, but also it's going to be quite... Um, quite a long evening and of course we can literally expect anything anything to happen here at Coombe Abbey. It's an interesting place, um, it is most definitely one of the most haunted locations in Great Britain and the energy because that's what you know as a psychic medium I'm looking at the energy, how I feel with the energy and how how I can conduct um, with with the spirits that are here, with the sort of um, where we call them walk-ins, the you know the people that are here, um, on how we can create you know activity, so they can make noises, make things happen, and situations can happen. So anything can happen, silly. It's going to be exciting. How would you feel if a spirit? 
came and mm. took over you or mm. uh, or something like that? Has that happened yes, to you before? Of, of course, you know, um, it, it's I, I, over the years I've done lots of exorcisms and things. So, you know, it, it's 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 very um, it's very normal for a spirit to come through me and to actually um, come into my soul and actually take me over. Um, and this is something that could happen on the evening. But either way, you know, whatever happens, it's going to be interesting. Hopefully we can get some footage. Hopefully we can get some evidence and, um, and proof of survival that them spirits are still here at Coombe Abbey. Um, there's been tragedy here. There's been uh, trauma here. And, of course, with the trauma and tragedy that's been around these grounds for many years, they're still very, very much trapped. The souls are trapped in this location. Um, and, of course, even behind me, um, where we're sitting here today, um, there's been activity. As you well know, you've felt that yourself. So it, it is a venue where it is steeped with history, which mm -hmm. is going to really bring them forward. <laughs> Is there, is there anybody here with us today? Is there anybody here with us? If there's anybody here with us today, could you show yourself or give us a sign that you're here? Oh, we're here. There's lots of us here. There's lots of us here. Could you give us your name? Could you tell us your name? My name's Peter. My name's Peter. I lived here for many years. I was here for many, many years. I was a resident here. Oh yes, many years. What it's did you a do, Peter? Place. It's a wretched place. It's full of evil here. You want to keep away from this place, honey. It's not a good place. Are you here with anyone else, Peter? I'm on my own. I'm on my own. I worked on my own. I lived on my own. I was on my own here. But there's many places at this. There's many places, there's many people at this place over the years, but I'm here on my own at the moment. But the place is what it's become. It's no good. Who's the woman, Peter, who I saw at the window? I saw a woman earlier. That's my wife. I'm sorry, Peter, your, your wife? I'm so sorry. How was she beheaded, Peter? Who who did that to her? He's gone now. He's just gone at me. Just come at me. <sighs> walked up there. Just walked really fast up there. So you can see how how this works. Yeah. A little, just you just got a little in. bit of a glimpse there. Glimpse. How that come in? Of how that come in, and hopefully we can match that up with some information. And it, I, I could hear the voice of, mm. of like. Are you, are you two guys man. okay with it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to freak yeah. you out. Do you know what I mean? No, no. You know. But it's, yeah. I could hear the, I could hear the, the man. Mm. It genuinely mm. sounded mm. like. And and the accent and the, the and accent, um, the an the um, uh, there's a special word for it. Uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, the dialect. accent, dialect. dialect. That's right. It's the dialect. That's right. 100%. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it sounded. That like wasn't me. Definitely. No. Yeah. No. But as we go on, you know, you never know, there might be more spirits, but he's someone that uh, that he's here. Yeah, so, so his so wife has beheaded him. That's what he said, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. that's what he said, so that's interesting. That's yeah. interesting. You can hear the dialect now, change. Now, obviously he disappeared, but yeah. on on the night, um, on the night, and I've, I've OK, he's just, he's just shouted at me. I was the caretaker. Caretaker. So interesting. Okay, he, he just shouted. He, he, you see, yeah. again, you see, I wasn't meant to say that. Just, you see, these things happen when you least expect it. You see, but he said, he said, I was the caretaker, and then he's just, he's just oh. disappeared again. But you see, Ad Did it, should, should we have a little walk down here and just see if there's yeah, any go on. more energy? I was just going to say, did it make you feel sort of when they've done that and they they've sort of took over you? Well, it it it, it 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 sort of brings the reality to to what you know what's to expect from mm. from 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 conducting the um, experiment. You know, mm. there's going to be lots of spirits, not just coming through me. Yes, I'm the psychic mm. medium. Um, uh, and I'm experienced, you know, of uh, bringing them through. But at the same time. It may be the case that someone that is actually here on the night 
having an experience with the spirit. Mm. And they... The British Most Haunted Project. We met Tracy whilst filming on location at Coombe Abbey. She works at the cafe, which is on site in the grounds, and we asked if she would like a quick read. She agreed, as she had never had a mediumship or psychic reading before. Marcus did not know Tracy or her history, but she validated a lot of what was said. Here is part one of her reading from Marcus. And I finished on looking at her. Are you wanting to, to, to change work, change jobs, or, or move into a new property, move into a new place? So I feel like I'm changing things. That's what I feel like I'm doing. Mm, we have look at, looked at moving. That's right, that's right, that's right. Moving out. That's yeah. right. Because I want to say, with the, move of, with the move of the house, there's going to be a new job as well with this. All right? OK? Mm. Um, now, now what's, what's the connection? Um, with with Scotland with you? Oh, I got married in Scotland. Okay, you got married in Scotland. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay, right. At Gretna Green. That's right. And I want to say it was a, it was a spontaneous situation. Yeah, it was, yeah. You know, you didn't know it was going to happen. It, you, you just went with it. Yeah, we know? did, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. But I feel as if there's a gentleman at the back of you that's linking in with me. He's in the spirit world. He's there for you. And I want to say, I feel this is Father. All right? Okay. This is Dave's dad that passed That's away. Right, okay. My husband's dad. This is it, okay. He's, he's putting his arms on your shoulder. All yeah. Right, okay. Right. Now, the reason why he's saying about um, the, 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 the Scottish and you getting married is because you're going to be invited to a wedding. All right? You're going to be invited to a wedding. We have been invited you have to been a wedding. Invited <laughs> to a wedding. Now, when did you get invited to that wedding? Uh, it was supposed to be for this year. Okay. But because of the lockdown, it's next year. That's right, that's right. I want, I want to say. And you'll have a great time. You really will. I want to say that. Lovely. You want to. Who's Roxana? Roxana. Who's Roxana? Roxy. Roxana. Okay. This this lady's going to be to do with a wedding. And it's, due, it's, it's going to be someone that you're going to, I understand what they're saying, it's someone that you're going to actually meet at the wedding and you're going to have a great conversation. Oh, Rianne. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah, it's Roxy, married. Rihanna, that's it. That's who's getting married. Rianne's okay, getting married. Okay, that's right. Because you're gonna, it's almost like I feel, I feel like you're going to have a conversation with her um, uh, around and about um, a, a new working plan or something you're going to do together. So look out for that. Oh, All right, right okay. Yeah. Um, now this move is going to be quite interesting, it's going to be important, there's going to be a lot of work to be done because I don't feel you're going to go in somewhere that's complete. I feel you're going to go in somewhere that's going to need completing. We've just done all that. You've just We've done just all that. We've just renovated. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. Well, when you go into a new place, mm -hmm. the, the man that's with you, who loves you to bits, he's going to want to do more work because mm -hmm. he's addicted to it. He has to do things here and there. If something has to be done, it has to be done. He'll do it there and then. He won't stop until something's new. Yeah. Now, what's this about a new kitchen? There's a new kitchen. We've just had a new kitchen. We've just had a new kitchen, <laughs> yeah. that's right. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we've had okay. a new kitchen. Okay, all right. Not okay. long ago. Uh, what's the name of Mark, please? Mark, Martin, Mark. Mark. Mark, um, uh, Mark. Um, no. Right, okay, because he's coming through for me. This is on your dad's side, so it'll be your grandfather's side. Um, he, he's oh, Mark, that's my cousin. That's, that's your cousin, is it? Okay, so your that's grandfather's on my coming. Side. He's talking about Mark, that's right, Mark. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, that's right, my okay. Bit of concern about Mark at the moment, but I know he'll be okay. All right, so that'll be fine. All right. Um, mm. I think he has got something wrong with him. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Um, and, and, and who's religious? Someone's religious, please. Someone's religious. Um. I'm kind of religious. Okay. Not, right, not okay. fully. But, you're, but you're I've got my bit. own beliefs. Yeah, okay. God bless you. That's this right. is why I'm saying about mm. ghosts because mm. Um, mm. my sister died when she was 17 mm. in a motorbike crash. And I believe that I saw her a ghost mm. Mm. two weeks afterwards. Mm. Mm. So, mm -hmm. who's Julie? Julie, Julie and Julie. Julie is my cousin. Julie's your cousin. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, right. Okay. Um, Julie's been through a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. Would you yeah. understand that? She has, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, would you understand the significance of um, her, her, or, or someone around her having cancer? 
for the, uh, her mum's yeah. just died of cancer. Okay, because I've got to come in through the mum. All right, her okay. Mom, that's, that's my And answer. I want to say it was quite sudden, quite quick. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah okay. Because yeah. she didn't get to say goodbye to um, to to this lady. No, no. And she wants to say goodbye in the right way because it won't be here today because obviously I'm just bringing her through. But what she's saying to me is that there's going to be a sign very shortly that she's going to feel that she's been around her, particularly I feel this evening or tomorrow as I link in here with this lady. So look out for um, so look out for this. She really wanted to come through today and tell you this because it was such a shock, such a, a misunderstanding, a conversation I feel before two people had parted in the sense of you know verbal communications. Mm. There was a little disagreement, a, shock, a little yeah. argument, mm. and they couldn't say goodbye. All yeah, right. that was the so shock. So look out yeah. for that. All right. And me as a psychic medium and of course a team that's going to be with us on that investigation on that night we're going to really look at um, and of course you can see you know the um, the lighting's gone so things are happening again uh, uh, you can see that so you know that you know they're here saying you know they want us to do these things so you could already sense and feel and see the activity uh, that's happening and uh, it's just going to be really exciting evening um, there will be disclaimers and things that people have to sign because obviously it's important that they know you know when we're doing experiments like you know sort of Ouija boards um, and other things that we're going to be doing to, to try and get the energy up um, to try and um, get some sort of reaction from the spirits or, 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 or from the poltergeist activity or, or any sort of other things that we can deal with on the night it's important that the people know that are coming on this event know that anything can happen so um, but uh, it's interesting how the lights are gone isn't it so it is very yeah. much so it's actually quite uh, quite shocking actually the lights have just gone out by themselves but you saw my reaction earlier when I, did, I, I saw did. the lady in the window mm -hmm. several times showing herself and then hiding again and showing herself and hiding again mm. and I've asked security mm. I've discussed mm. that with them they have confirmed mm. there's no mm. woman that would mm. be in that room because mm. the place due to mm. Covid is completely mm. deserted there is no one mm. else there yes yes it, 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 there, you know there's certainly I mean obviously without going in, internally on on the evening we'll know more but certainly on Externally, there's certainly been um, a lot of activity, and uh, how could you explain that lady that I you, saw? For you're example? quite right. You, you know, there's supposed to be a lady that, you know, that haunts this place, um, and obviously she's not gone to the light because of the tragedy that happened going back to King Henry VIII and stuff like that. So we can talk about that on the evening, but uh, it, it's going to be quite an exciting night, and um, I'm I'm really intrigued um, to why they're coming forward to us in daylight outside of the premises when we're not even inside the premises yet so I'm quite intrigued with how they're going to work with me as a psychic medium and obviously we'll try and get as much evidence because that's what this is about getting much evidence and proof proof that they they are still with us wow. and they're making certain activity and interacting with us um, so uh, so and so, obviously so validation that, yeah. for uh, of course of course you know for course. anyone else that, of course, that's yeah, going yeah, to yeah, attend yes, and you know it may be the case where on the evening when we're going with all this um, you know, certain things happen where the people that are coming on this event, you know, see things, hear things, so they may sort of encounter their experiences and they can sort of relay their experiences with us. Wow. So it, it's, it's just all about proof and it's all about what's, you know, what's to come. Um, and I think they've already given us a prediction today and a sign, I feel. Um, that things are going to be quite interesting on the night because they've come forward today in lots of different ways sure. not too much but they've given us little sort of um, you know sort of information here and there um, that's you know very odd mm. and um, and when we go in there I'm sure they'll come out with some more um, interesting information about why why they passed away so what we're going to be looking at Salim is working with the energy um, um, conducting experiments um, to try and, you know, create a, 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 a great atmosphere um, in the sense of, well not so much atmosphere, just bringing them through so they can, they can show us that they're there, they're here and, um, and, and show us that, um, you know, extensively uh, um, that, you know, that the haunted place that it is, is, is very much um, haunted and that's what we're looking at, that's what we're here for, we're here we're here to actually do experiments and, and to validate that there is activity and uh, you know that there, there has been activity today I'm, I'm, I'm very intrigued 
I'm very excited about being a psychic medium here on the night and actually looking into the energy, feeling that energy and feeling how they lived here oh. and going into their um, soul, you, you know, seeing, seeing what actually happened in these um, grounds of Coombe Abbey. So now, to an, now, definitely, it sounds very exciting. I can't wait to, to share the experience with you. I'll be right by your side. The British now, why do I see a camper van? I see a camper van. Have you got? Have you just brought a camper? No, van? my dad's just van? got one he's and he's one. doing okay, it up. Right, okay. yeah. He's got to be a little bit weary on being tough and the spirits are with me because I, I do know that he does too much. My dad does, yeah. He does too much. Everything. And I feel as if he could go in the camper van, do little bits and bobs, and he's got his legs and he's struggling here yeah, and stuff he like is, that. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, so it, it, it's important that he just needs to relax in that van and just enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Would you understand that you're not too sure about moving? Your husband partner does, but you're not sure. Mm, I don't know. We thought of moving to Spain as well. <laughs> yeah, you're going to do that. You're going to do that. Not just yet. We're just... But he will be talking about it soon. Mm. We have been talking about it. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. That's right, that's I don't right, think it'll right. happen yet, but God we have been you. talking yeah, about gonna it. Happen. It's going to come up. Yeah. All right. Towards the end of the year, I feel things will happen. All right. That way. <laughs> Bless you. Would you understand? There's a and um, there's a young lady behind you as well with dark curly wavy hair that has passed away. A younger person should have passed away when she was younger. And I feel this is like a sister. All right. This is your sister, or this is a younger person. I feel. Um, that was my other sister, That's your other two sister. years ago. Okay, okay, okay. And, she, and would you she understand? She had dark curly hair. She, dark curly. She's standing at the back of you. Lovely eyes, bright, big eyes. Mm. Lovely eyes, blue in a tint of her eyes. She's coming through, and she just wants you to know that she's there by your side all the time. All right, she's there by your side all the time. Mm. Um, she wants you to know that she passed away very tragically. Would you understand that? Um, yeah. In the sense of she going had a very quickly. Accident. That's right. That's right. And it's mm. quick. I thought it was very, very cool. Yeah, it was. Um, she's there for you as well. You seem very surprised at all this. How did you find that? Um, good. Mm. Good, yeah. Interesting. Very, very surprised. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Have you ever had a psychic? Uh, I mean, this is not a psychic, you know, medium. No, or, I've never or, been to one, no. You know, this is not a psychic, you know, sort of reading yeah. or medium you're sitting, but for the first few minutes, this is your first time, so I'm glad I could share that it with is, you. It is, yeah. I'm glad I could share that with you. <laughs> yeah, it is, All yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. I'll leave it with you. Now... There are a lot of skeptics out there. Of course, I've yeah. come across a lot. Of course, and yes, the more yeah. that I'm doing this and mm -hmm. you know speaking to people, they're all saying, "Oh, I don't believe in that type mm -hmm. of thing," and all the rest of, of it. What would you say to those well, skeptics? Well, I, I would say um, you don't know until you try it, um, and certainly if 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 you come on the event. Um, because you hear things and like you quite rightly said, we never know the truth of it also. But if they come on the event. Hopefully, that well, I know they will have an experience themselves. So if they come on the event, they're going to have an experience, whether that's a, a maximum exp experience of seeing, you know, a, a spirit, poltergeist, a poltergeist, or, or, or feel it, or seeing, or even hearing things, uh, maybe touching of that, or, or you know, so on. It, the, you know, there's a list that could happen. Anything can happen. But unless they investigate themselves, mm -hmm. they're not going to know. So the answer to that question is, I would say, come on the tour, um, have an experience yourself and make your own conclusion of what you think um, your experience with us was on that particular evening. Make your conclusion, and I believe it's gonna be very interesting, because you know, yeah. time after time after time, over the years of doing this, you know, uh, uh, people come on the on the tour, and then at the end of it, they say, well, you know, we were skeptic, we didn't understand. Yeah. You know, we never believed in it, and then, gosh, when they go home and they've had an experience, like I believe they're gonna have at Coombe Abbey on the 24th, uh, they won't be, you know, they won't be skeptical yeah, again. Exactly. So, um, as they say, I'm, don't, I'm knock very, it, don't knock it till you it, try it's it. It's quite true. It's Indeed. quite true. Um, as you well know, Slim, I've been doing this for many years, and um, twenty-five years, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I sensed things when I was a child. You know, I was always different, and uh, there's no, you know, there's no doubt about it that um, uh, if they want to get through to you, they'll do anything they can to create, to build the energy, up, to create the energy, to actually. Uh, make us very aware and known that they're here and a place like this 
is, um, as I say, steep with history. So if it, if it doesn't happen, it's not, it's not going to happen anywhere. And I'm very convinced that it will happen here. There's going to be experiences that's going to be shared. And once you've had an experience, you can share that for life. I know. I mean, like, this, so, today yeah, was yeah, my yeah. first experience, mm, 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 and mm, it didn't take long. Mm. It was within, mm. literally, just mm. a couple of minutes of arriving when I saw mm. what I saw mm. in the window, mm. and I've verified that with security, mm. and they... It, it, it's, it's very important that whoever comes on this, that they know that, that, that you know, they've got to be prepared for all sorts of things. And, and yes, that makes it exciting, uh, but we can't let the excitement um, overcloud the reality. Sure. And the reality is that you, you are dealing with, uh, you, you know, demon spirits, um, bad energies, you, you know, this so on. It's like going out, for example. Well, well, How would you well, describe that? How you know, would you explain I, I this? I mean, this is a phenomenal, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's strange. And, and, and again, technology is um, in haunted locations like this. Um, technology is affected on quite a regular basis. You know, this has happened before. Uh, but the technology here today is a little bit less than usual so mm. i'm surprised it's affected it so much that it has yeah and it's quite interesting because it just shows you the power that they have to get to do that to do that yeah the power they have to get to, you know just to change electricity a little bit is quite phenomenal and they've they've uh, obviously talked to us today in certain yeah. certain ways so and this is before we go into the location yeah so it's it's an investigation it's an interrogation of 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 the once lived here um and old spirits, and and uh, I'm I'm pretty sure at this moment in terms of psychic medium, um, when I'm here and conducting everything that I'm going to conduct, we will get some pretty good activity. Would you say, yeah, yeah. in your own opinion, mm. do you think they want us here? Um, I, I, you know, they may not want us here. There for is example. mixed feelings. There is mixed feelings, but certainly, um, you know, it's it's a bit like life. You know, when you pass over, you, the, the, there's probably reasons to why you pass over. And I would say with my experience of being on the outside, not in the inside, ex outside today, I would say that there's a mixed feelings of, of, of some of the spirits that have died in a tragic way, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, don't want us to be here, yeah. so they're going to cause trouble. Yeah. And the people that have passed away in, in a very loving, and, uh, and I keep ex you know, really saying this a lot of times, a very natural way, um, possibly would like to talk to them and get through to their loved ones. So there's going to be a mixture of yeah. energies, but there's certainly um, evil here. And there's certain, certainly negative energy, and um, it's going to be an interesting evening on the 24th. Thank you very much indeed, Thank Marcus. Thank you. Very, very welcome. Looking forward to the 24th. Let's see what happens. Mm. Coom Abbey gave us a glimpse of what to expect on the night of the 24th of May. Here are a couple of images which we believe may be apparitions who haunt the grounds of Coom Abbey. We have tried to enhance these images to give you a clear look, but please feel free to come to your own conclusion. Come along to find out for yourself to our first event at Coombe Abbey in Coventry on the 24th of May for an experience of your life. <laughs>